Good morning guys and welcome back over here to the Hetrick Outdoors YouTube channel. Today what we are going to be doing is underpinning our camper, getting ready for winter. And um, I've got a heated hose for our water supply and all of that, but I've got to get this thing underpinned to keep the air out from under. We're also going to be building a set of actual steps for it. So the cute furry little friends will stop jumping on the steps and shaking the whole house. These are the supplies we have. We've got step runners, board, uh, step boards, lattice and foam insulation board. We're going to take and cut the lattice and the foam insulation board down to the appropriate size, glue it to the lattice, and we're going to paint it all white. Of course, that's to build steps with. So, And then we're going to take and secure it with self-tapping screws to the plastic bottom of that. All the way around, those steps will be up. There will be steps in front of that. All the way around. Keeping down the wind, making this thing easier to heat. It would actually probably make it easier to cool, too. And if we get all of that done today, I also have to build a doghouse. So, I'm going to get started on measuring and getting all this stuff cut to size. Start getting it pinned up and glued together and everything. So that hopefully... You know, we don't get any busted water lines or water tanks this winter um, or sewage lines or anything like that. I don't want to deal with that. And it'll help keep it warmer in there by keeping the air out from under it and make it cheaper to heat. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm going to get set up and everything and i kind of show you what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. And hopefully this turns out the way I want to and it looks okay because I've seen people just screw tin up there or couple of other things and it just doesn't look really good so we'll see how this turns out all right so i have my measurement for the lattice that's going to go around to be my support structure that's also what we're going to screw to the camper because it's a harder material than that pink foam insulation foam and it's 30 inches so i've got it marked here and on that end and you know you're just gonna go between and cut each and every single one with these heavy duty shears, which hopefully aren't too, hopefully this ain't too difficult. Let's see. If I can line it up. Like butter. So I'm going to go through there and do this for all of my long runs. So across the front, down the side, back, sides, and then I still have to figure out what I'm going to do around the slides I that exactly figured out how i'm gonna trim that out i don't know if i'm just gonna run it down the sides of the camper and not do under the slides like around the sides or if i'm going to try to trim out all the way around i think the best bet is to trim out all the way around but i'm just not sure so we'll see so i've got all the uh pink foam board cut ready to be glued to the lattice so it can be painted white and then installed got it all cut to where it's supposed to be so i just got to take a old caulking gun here some of this gorilla heavy duty ultimate glue and we'll put it up there with some self-tapping screws and i have hinges that I'm going to use so I can access my sewage drains and cut a door for that so it should all work out really well like I said I'm going to put a little door right there so that I can access the sewage drains and everything and be able to pull my kayaks and whatever else I store under there back out from under there so I'm going to get to gluing these all up I'll give you guys a look after they're all glued up and then we will get to painting them um hate that it's so windy because I really need to get these painted so I can get them installed but we'll just have to see what happens with the wind but uh yeah I'm gonna get to gluing these up and uh we'll see what happens all right guys so we got all that board glued to the lattice I gotta run some of this stuff back to Lowe's and pick up a five rung step thing instead of a four it's just not tall enough two concrete blocks and some short screws um but We've got them all glued up, drying. Once they're dry, we're gonna paint them and let that dry, probably get them screwed up tomorrow. 
get the steps built tonight. I just got to wait for my wife to get home so we can use her truck to go to Lowe's because mine's full of stuff. So we'll see what happens. All right, guys. So we have got the underpinning all painted and stuff. It's the next day. Um, I just ran out of time in daylight waiting on all that stuff to dry. And I had to make another trip to Lowe's. So it's the next day. Um, we've got our steps built. Are you guys a good little look at them just to make it easier to get up and down. I'm actually currently sitting on them. Um, they're not all the way up against the house yet because I still have to secure the underpinning. The painting of this stuff, um, I wasn't expecting the spray paint to kind of eat the foam just a little bit and it, the foam's kind of absorbing it. You know, it was just a mistake on my part that I made. But here, they're starting to look white. You can still see some of the pink coming through. I just did not turn out the way I wanted it to. Exactly, but got our steps built. They're awesome. A lot easier to go up and down than them crappy ones. So this will slide up in there. It's a lot better. It's a lot better on the knees and everything, so that's going good. I'm gonna get this thing underpinned as soon as the rest of this paint gets done dry, and I gotta do one more coat on as much of it as possible, and then get it all screwed up there. Hope the glue sticks all this together. Um, after all the issues I've been having, I don't I don't really know if it's gonna work or not. If not, we'll go back to the drawing board, but we'll see what happens. All right, guys, but well, we got it done. It doesn't look super great, but it is gonna serve a purpose, and that is to keep everything from freezing and keep the camper a lot warmer. Um, it looks okay, but it didn't turn out exactly the way I wanted it to, but stuff happens like that. So here's your view. Like I said, it's not perfect, but it works. It's gonna keep the cold out and uh, keep it a little warm, uh, keep it a little cooler during the summer, a little warmer during the winter. Keep my pipes and tanks and stuff from freezing, so we should be good. Push back to a yet another day. Um, everything, just projects are taking longer than they should, and you know it is what it is. But we got our doghouse built. We're gonna aim at the doggy saloon, just because it's kind of funny. Um, and it kind of looks like an old time western building in a way to me, so that's why we're going to call it the Doggy Saloon. Here it is, in all its glory. It's beautiful, it works. You know, all using all repurposed materials. This is some old flooring we had laying around. That's an old conveyor belt that's made out of pallets on the inside for the main structure. Old piece of plywood we had laying around. Flooring for the top, too. Keeps it waterproof. That PVC flooring keeps it perfectly waterproof. No winds getting in there. This is uh, grass clippings out of a sweeper. Works great as hay, smells like hay, it's the same as hay. But it all works perfectly. And uh, we're done. All my, all my chores to start winter, you're getting ready for winter, are done before I leave to head back out on the road for the last time, hopefully this year, with the railroad, but we'll see. Um, I wanna thank you guys for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Y'all stay frosty and I'll see you next time.